Do you ever wonder how things are made up of water? Have you ever heard that matters are made up of tiny particles? For a fact, that's correct. And in this video, we'll talk about how scientists came up to this. There are many theories that have existed for the previous years, but we'll only focus on a plum pudding model that was created by J.J. Thompson. John Joseph Thompson was born in Cheatham Hill, a suburb of Manchester, on December 18, 1856. He is an English physicist, a Nobel laureate in physics, and was credited for discovering the electron. The plum pudding model was first proposed by J.J. Thompson in the year 1904, soon after the discovery of the electron. But before the discovery of the atomic nucleus, the model represented an attempt to consolidate the known properties of the atom at that time. First is that electrons are negatively charged particles and second is atoms are neutrally charged. In 1897, J.J. Thomson discovered the electron by experimenting with crooks or so-called as cathode ray tubes. Let us first define what cathode ray tubes are. Cathode ray tube is a high vacuum tube in which cathode ray produce a luminous image on a fluorescent screen. It is usually used in television and computer terminals to display images. So here's what a cathode ray tube looks like. JJ Thompson demonstrated that cathode rays were negatively charged. In addition to that, he also studied positively charged particles in neon gases. Thomson realized that the accepted model of atom did not account for negatively or positively charged particles. Therefore, he proposed a model of the atom which likened to call the plum pudding. The negative electrons represented the raisins in the pudding, and the dough contained the positive charge. Here is an image of a plum pudding and a plum pudding model that J.J. Thompson created. All in all, Thompson's model of atom did explain some of the electrical properties of the atom due to the electrons, but failed to recognize the positive charges in the atom as particles. That would probably became the reason why other studies have existed. Good day everyone, until next time!